So the first character on the graphic organizer that we're going to write about was Mama. The details from the text was that she told Tio Luis that she would accept his proposal. We know this is a lie. And Tio Luis will be very mad when he finds out. He's going to tell everybody about the proposal and he's going to be really embarrassed. So what this tells us about Mama is that Mama had to make a quick decision and think of her family and the servants. So she's really just thinking of everyone else um, and that Mama is willing to sacrifice for her family. She knows that moving to the United States and working equally alongside of Hortensia and Alfonso is going to be a huge change for her and Esperanza, but that's what she's willing to do in order for her and Esperanza to stay together and to not have to stay with Tio Luis. Okay, next, um, I'm going to do Tio Luis. And by the way, that, well, it doesn't matter. You don't have to put the page numbers because you guys don't have the books. Um, Okay, so let's do the Tio Luis as our second character. And Tio Luis says, so he says, I have come to give you another chance, said Tio Luis. If you reconsider my proposal, I will build a bigger, more beautiful house and replant everything. So basically, he's not even denying that he burnt down the house. He's practically admitting that he's that the uncles burnt down the house. Then he says, of course, if you prefer, you can live here with the servants. As long as another tragedy does not happen to their homes as well. So if you prefer, you can live with servants as long as another tragedy does not happen to them as well. So Tio Luis, um, what this tells us about the character is he is threatening Esperanza and the mama. He is threatening mama. I already burned your house down and I will keep doing more bad things to ruin everything unless you accept my proposal. So he is um, willing to hurt people. He's willing to destroy things. for the sake of making Mama marry him. Um, he also wants to get rid of Esperanza by sending her away to some sort of boarding school. He mentions that he's gonna send her away to some boarding school. So Tio Luis, we also know what this tells us about the character is he has far reaching power. He has the ability to really ruin their lives. Um, if they were to stay with him, so they're basically going to be at his beck and call. If they do decide to stay, everything's going to be different. Okay. Um, Next, I'm going to do Esperanza when 
she won't share the doll. Okay. The details of the text. Um, she shares her opinion about what she thinks of the peasants on the train. So she's talking about how they shouldn't be sitting with these peasants on the train, how they shouldn't be sitting in this car, how the peasants look dirty, how the peasants look untrustworthy. And she's not even like hiding her opinion on this. She's just straight out telling her mom out loud. The entire time, um, Hortensia and Miguel are offended. You can tell that Hortensia and Miguel are offended. Um, and she won't even share her doll. No doll for the peasant girl. She won't even share her doll. So what happens in the text, she's sharing her opinion about how disgusting she thinks this train car is. She's sharing her opinion about the people on the train car. She can't believe they're having to ride with them. They appear dirty or untrustworthy. She yanks her doll away from the little girl that wants to see it. And this whole time, Hortensia and Miguel are walking away, are turning away. They're totally offended because, and as mother tells her, every time she makes any kind of a comment about this, she's truly offending Hortensia and Miguel, not just the other strangers on the car. So what this tells us about Esperanza is that she is, um, I'm trying to think of a word you guys might use. She's prissy, right? She's totally snobby. I don't know what word you guys might want to use, but she is um, discriminatory. Towards the peasants. And the biggest one is that she is in denial. Mother keeps telling her, you know, she goes, who is this, who is this bag of bad clothes for? And the mother is like, that bag is for us. We are now the peasants. So you're, you, all these comments you're making about the peasants, you're essentially making those comments about us. So the first one, Mama, the second one we did for Tia Luis, the third one we did for Esperanza. She's sharing her opinion about what she thinks of the peasants. She doesn't share her doll. She thinks they're dirty, they're untrustworthy. And the whole time Hortensia and Miguel are offended. And what this tells us is that Esperanza is really snobby. She's discriminatory towards the peasants and truly she is in denial about the fact that this is going to be her new life.